I carry around the book with a few basic pictures. What's their relation to Judaism? What's, what's their relation to Judaism? Judaism is to be subservient to God. It's to accept it on Mount Sinai to follow the laws of God's Torah, and we've been doing so for 3,000 years. Zionism is a movement that started over 100 years ago, 150 years ago. Are they Jews or, or atheists? And these guys were atheists or non practicing Jews. Non practicing Jews. They hated the religion. We have, we have this, you can see by the Declaration of Independence in 1948. They're calling it a state of Israel, a Jewish state, with the Star of David. 
And you see the farce that they don't have anybody who's a rabbi. Everybody's going with, with um, uncovered heads. And what you would think, if you a Muslim state, you would have an imam, you would have a, 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 a sheikh, you would have something. If it would be a Christian state, you would have a priest. There is, see how ridiculous this is. And what were they? These guys, they, they, they hated God, they hated religion, they changed the language of the religion from Russian culture, from the whole language to matter and Hebrew. They made, everything they did was against God. And all the rabbis, Universally said this is unacceptable. They stood up, including in Palestine. Again, I have a, a cut like pictures from the beginning. This is what the, the chief rabbi at the time, the 1920s, his, his name was Rabbi Zadokov, met with the king of Transjordan, pleaded with him. And we have the writings he put in Arab papers in Arabic. But we don't want this. They, they, we have, don't aspire to take our cuts. It's, we have their, 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 uh, their documents. Then when 1948 he had passed on, 1947, the, the United Nations was deciding whether to support the state of Israel. The chief rabbi at the time was Rabbi Dashinsky, who pleaded before the United Nations for the documents. So we furthermore wish to express our definite opposition to a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. He represented the Jewish communities that was living there. From all that to today, you can see hundreds of thousands of Jews standing in the Kingdom of Shabbos. Against, the Kingdom, against, the Zionist. against Zionist. And this is what he passed on. Another chief rabbi, they went to greet the chief rabbi. These Jews are living there. They're anti the state. All of them were in opposition to the state. And they fought it. They, they, they demonstrated. You can see demonstrations that for over 75 years, Jews have been murdered. They demonstrate old men, young boys, and they're constantly being beaten, maimed, arrested, on and on. This goes on for over a hundred years. This is happening. They're, 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 uh, uh, the head of the Torah guard, everyone, almost every outspoken rabbi was attacked, and some of them were assassinated, including the one who said, I'm going to go to, to Parliament, the British Parliament, 1924, whose name is Dr. He's, yeah, there's a statue of him in Denmark because he was close to the King of Denmark. He became religious. So he thought it meant to become a Zionist. He went to Palestine. He right away became aware that Zionist was not Judaism. He reported to the chief rabbi of Palestine, this rabbi Zonnefeld. He said, I'm going to take care of this issue. I'm going to follow him. The Zionist killed him cold bloodedly in front of Shari said the hospital is used. This is what happens. They trample, they kill, they maim, and the world is silent. If this would be done in Canada, if it would be done in the USA, in any other land, it would be, it would be uh, the greatest uh, uh, scandal that's possible. The Zionists come and demand reparations. Here, you can see they're spraying them with, with, with chemicals. So the, the whole land of Palestine belongs to the Palestinians. 100%. All of it. We have have one inch of rule. We are able of the Palestinians with their uh, kindness, as they have for so many hundreds of years, would allow us to live amongst them. We would be loyal citizens. That is fine if it's the permission of the ruling party. But to go and create a so called Jewish state, it's a farce. And they made a rabbit and a chief rabbi. These chief rabbis that you saw belong to the religious community that, till today, we have a distinct community of hundreds of thousands of Jews with a rabbit and a chief rabbi that has absolutely nothing to do with the Zionist state. The Zionist state made uh, uh, their own uh, court system, which is illegal according to Jews because it's not allowed to pass the last day. They made the rabbinate as window dressing, and the chief rabbi traipses around the world to declare that whatever you can do to the Arabs is 100% legal. It's all a farce, and they're masquerading in the name Israel, and they're intimidating that people who want to stand up and say this is unjust, they're afraid because they know they'll be attacked as anti Semitic. We are here to tell the world that the anti-Semites is the Zionist state of Israel. They're the ones who made a hate between Jews and Muslims. They drove and driven a rift between Jews and Muslim people that were living together for hundreds of years. Here's a picture of how we used to live. Palestinian and, and Jew for all under these Palestinian of years yeah, babysat each other's children. Palestinian government. Yeah. All the time we babysat each other's children. This is the way Jews it was a given. This is nothing to do with the religious conflict. This is a Zionist ploy.
We put out books. It's called The Rabbis Speak Out, the compilation of all the major rabbis around the world, from whether it is Europe, whether it is the Middle Eastern countries, or, or, or Palestine. The, the greatest rabbis of the world, the leading rabbis of the world, we compiled them for 130 years, said this is unacceptable. And we have the right, each one in their own style. He said Zionism, this was the chief, one of the greatest rabbis of our times. He passed away in 1933, before the state. Is that your same first name? His name is Rabbi Yisrael Meir Akoi, the author of Chavetz Chaim, a very well-known, he was a codifier of Jewish law, everybody holds him. He was the greatest, one of the greatest codifiers And he said of the Zionists, he said, the Zionists are dead limbs of our people, which causes the entire body to rot. He was in Europe, he was in Rot, that's in, in Poland, Lithuania. This is just one of the so many other rabbis around the world, everyone in their style said Zionism is the worst threat for us. It is the cancer of Judaism. We can't, we don't accept it, and we should be out there standing and telling the world. That's why I'm here today. We have to tell the world. Yeah, yeah. We have to tell the world. That's why we are here, out here today. Because even the chief rabbis of Palestine said that they pleaded with their followers. They said, you must go out to the streets. Rabbi, Rabbi Teitelbaum, the chief rabbi of Palestine, said, go out to the streets and let the world know that they, the Zionists are imposters. Judaism and the people who are loyal to Judaism, the Jewish people are loyal, all are opposed to the Zionist state of Israel. It's unacceptable. It's not our Torah. It's not Judaism. It's a false Judaism. They're masquerading simply to intimidate, to silence righteous people from standing up against it. And non-Jews they call anti-Semitic. Jews, they ridicule us, self-hating Jews in such a such, vulgar uh, language. What they are is the Shatan. It doesn't make sense how they could gain such popularity and that the United Nations should back them. It can only be because it's the work of the Satan. But one day, the Almighty will prevail with his kindness, with his compassion. He's the Almighty and he will bring an end to the entire existence of this occupation, of this um, illegitimate criminal in our days, occupation, the Zionist, in our days, in for sure, inshallah, in our days, soon in our days, days. it says in the total, why are you rebelling against me? You will not be successful. This state will end. You see they're not, they don't even have success. Even if it would seem they have success, we wouldn't become daunted by that. But they don't have success. Not 10 years past without a, a major uh, people there. They will end. We pray to God that it should happen without any further bloodshed and suffering. We pray to God and we urge everybody to pray to the Almighty because it's in here. His hands to bring an end overnight with the blink of an eye, and we plead, we plead with everybody: do not be intimidated. Stand up for the people of Palestine. Thank you, thank you, Rabbi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.